Hello everybody, um, welcome to the treehouse, my office, and um, I'm going to just give you a quick um, rundown of a book review that I've just um, written and put up on my Witchlit Woman blog, and it's on Amazon as well, so you can check it out on those two. Um, it's about a book by Wendy Steele, one of my Witchlit author colleagues, it's called The Naked Witch. And I'm just going to read the review to you first, and I'm going to do a bit of a reading from the book itself, um, because um, it's it's very much worth uh, listening to. OK, so this is a great contender for the ever growing witchlet that is flooding the marketplace today. If you like to read about that kind of magic that the, the real witches do, then grab a copy of The Naked Witch and enjoy this down to earth story. The thing is, many think that witches are some kind of extraordinary species that float above the surface of the planet and fly around on great beings and broomsticks. I don't know what gives anybody that idea. But with Wendy Steele's kind of witchlet, nothing could be further from the untruth. Lizzie Martin is an ordinary mum with a teenage daughter, experiencing all the ups and downs of life that come with the territory. But the difference in how she deals with the challenges that crop up is in her magical beliefs and practices. One being her wooden shed at the bottom of her garden, a bit like my tree house, a place she calls her sanctuary, a place where she takes refuge and retreats to find herself again when the trials of life take their toll, a place to ground and centre her energy and reconnect with her magical self, to call upon her goddess and the gods, her guides from the celestial realms and the ancestral spirits of the earth. The herbs she grows, the incense she lights, the prayers she sends out and the divination she works with to tune into the hidden realms are the ways of the witch. Granted, you will find these practices in works of non-fiction, of which there are plenty around. But to weave magic through the fabric of story is no less inspirational than any work of teaching. In fact, it can be far more educational in many ways because magic, at the very least, works on those subtle levels of mind and body when the mind is receptive and passive, when the spell of the story itself is working its charm upon the reader. And so Wendy Steele's writing is a magical act because you can never separate a witch from her world. Indeed, she carries it with her everywhere as it's not so much a byproduct of what she does, but a true reflection of who she is. And if she's a writer, then it will shine through those words. It will spring from the page and it will make that story come to life. Witchlit is magical writing, and here in The Naked Witch, the first of this down-to-earth and enjoyable series, Wendy Steele makes no exception. It's a great read. So, the scent of wood and patchouli greeted her, and cool air slapped her in the face. She dropped to her knees in her undisturbed sanctuary. Emotion pounded her, rolling and tumbling her over the floor until she sat cross-legged before, before her altar. She stilled her breathing, allowing her body to find its rhythm, returning her with the earth. She lit the candle in the arms of the goddess and from a small drawer unwrapped a lapis lazuli crystal eight-pointed star. Clasped in her hands, Lizzie called down the goddess Ishtar, one of the greatest goddesses of the Middle East, but it was one aspect of her in particular Lizzie sought. Light of the world, goddess of goddesses, Torch of heaven and earth, bestower of strength, hear my prayer. Great Hanata, give me the power to face my enemies with truth on my side. Great goddess Ishtar, goddess of love and war, bathe me in your healing light, hear my prayer. Mighty Ishtar, warrior goddess, fill me with light so I may face the world. Within the confines of the wooden shed, Lizzie allowed the goddess power to wash over her. Courage, guidance and love coursed through her. Heat bursting from her fingertips. From the warrior goddess she drew protection and imagined herself triumphant in the face of her enemies. Not all conquering, but empowered to stand up for what she believed to be right. Great stuff, isn't it? OK, so you can buy that on Amazon and check out Wendy's site. I think it's wendysteel.com. She's a great writer. Come and join our group, uh, our Witchlit group on Facebook 
and um, if you're reading Witchlet or if you're writing writing Witchlet, it doesn't matter. We'd love to. We'd love you to join us. Okay. So until the next book review, happy reading and writing, everybody. Ta-ta for now. Bye.